welcome back to my channel now as you can see this is part two to a video that was supposed to be one part but I went into a lot of detail um, in the previous video which was basically me um, talking about my degree studying Cambridge wow studying English here at the University of Cambridge a lot of people have been asking me questions just about what the course is like what I've been doing what I've been working on how it's been etc etc so I really wanted to kind of try and break down as much as possible um, in regards to my course one of the things that I didn't mention in that video and um, that I will say though is that in final year there are loads of other options obviously you guys know I chose the two particular options that I could choose which were um, literature and visual culture and post-colonial there are so many options to choose from you can do like modern renaissance i know some people choose loads and loads of different things so there's a huge range to choose from when you get into third year the other thing that i forgot to talk about as well was that in second year i did medieval english i wouldn't say that i hated it i would just say that it was very very difficult and very hard and i didn't really see why i needed to do medieval english but hey it was a requirement so i did it um but now at least I can say I can kind of read a little bit of medieval English, which is really, really cool. But anyway, so this video is all about revision tips. Of course, I did a video uh, a while back, I think about a year and a half ago, explaining my particular revision tips and how I revise and how I've, I've revised from about A levels up until now. A lot of the things that I've spoken or that I said in that video are still very much relevant now. So apologies if I'm just repeating, but I thought that I would go over them one more time, especially the top five things that I do. And also one thing that I'm kind of adjusting as well, because obviously you live, you learn. Some things work that work then don't really work now. So there's one, there's a few things that I'm like switching up a little bit so I thought I'd share it with you so I've got my notes so excuse me if I'm looking down so I've got five easy really quick simple revision tips for you um, obviously it's not easy when you do it in the process but easy for me to tell you and explain and I want to try and make this video as quickly as possible because obviously my videos are always too long so the first revision tip is I am deciding that this year I am revising theme based so in the past when I used to revise I kind of just went over the whole topic as a whole so for example if it was let's say I was doing a, an exam for the renaissance paper or whatever so the renaissance paper I'll kind of look at the renaissance paper as a whole and I will try to learn pretty much everything because that's always worked for me because I don't like going into an exam feeling like I half know the topic I like going into the exam knowing that whatever comes up in the exam I can at least semi answer it which obviously should be the aim but I feel as though especially by third and final year there is just no point in doing things like that because there is so much and you were you just won't be able to cover it all therefore I've decided that in third year this this works for me this might not work for you but what I am now doing is revising theme based so I'm going to look at a particular module let's say post-colonial and the way I'm revising right now is I'm saying okay what are the five six um, areas that I would particularly want to write about um, and do lots of research in so one area is like women I want to look at the way women like let's say are represented or their voices are kind of like um, written or um, used in literature or whatever it is so it could be like women or death or um, money or anger or you, do you know what I mean just a particular themes basically and I'm gonna narrow it down I haven't finished doing this yet because I'm still in the middle of revision right now but just narrow it down to maybe like let's say six themes that I am really prepared for that I do a lot of research and reading over and um, yeah go in kind of having in-depth knowledge of those various themes rather than just trying to revise everything because I feel like obviously I don't I'm not saying omit everything else of course make sure you've gone over notes you do know a wide variety of areas however have almost like a speciality so that if by God's grace we pray that in the exam women comes up then you have a lot to talk about and you can do it well as well um, so that it's not kind of just like a semi-written essay 
that's just the way that I'm doing it. It might not work for you. You might be a teacher or, or whatever, or a lecturer, and you might watch this and think that is such bad advice. So apologies if it is. That's just the way that I'm doing it right now. But I feel like it's gonna help me because I'm that person that literally tries to learn everything and it has not, re as, of, as of late anyway, in my recent years in education, it hasn't helped. So yeah, the second thing, flashcards. I think flashcards are just those things that everyone needs to use. They're just a simple, easy way to break down your notes, to break down your knowledge and ensure that you are learning in a bit more of a fun and vibrant way. Obviously using highlighters, highlighting stuff, making sure things are colorful. I love, I know the kind of um, learner that I am. I don't know what it's called. I think it's called a kinesthetic learner or whatever, but I love seeing like bright colors, things standing out, standing out. I love doing brainstorms. I love that kind of stuff. So if you know that's you, make sure you use flashcards, loads of highlighters, colorful pens, brainstorms, it will help. The third thing, one of the things that I mentioned in the other video that I did about revision, speaking out loud I call it the teacher method so basically becoming a teacher in your own bedroom and right now obviously I used to use my sisters when I was at home right now I'm not at home and my friends are doing their own revision so I can't really disturb them but essentially just walking around in your room and acting as though you're teaching a class and going over the things that you did so for example if you on that day focused on a particular area or a particular author or a particular book or whatever it is or a particular text you just basically recite like okay what you learned from that text and you do it as though you are speaking to a class i think that is such a great way of just remembering things and really testing your own knowledge as well the fourth thing is finding alternatives so finding alternative ways to learn you don't necessarily just have to write out and copy write and copy write and copy find a way that works for you so if that means i don't know writing a rap writing some lyrics if that works for you then go for it find ways to make your revision interesting how i do it is doing the whole teacher method you might do it in a completely different way but find a way that works for you and my fifth and final tip is condensing your notes so don't just revise like you're just basically reading through pages and pages and pages of notes because you won't remember anything what i do is i basically condense my notes and i condense them and i condense them and i condense them till i get to a point where literally i have maybe a small folder that has good enough notes for me to be able to actually understand and know what i'm talking about but condensed enough so that I'm not overwhelmed by a lot of stuff. Essentially, I just think it's the perfect way to make sure that you have enough notes and you have enough knowledge, but that you can actually carry it into an exam. Because like I said, in the past, I used to be that person that I wanted to learn everything. And even though I did condense notes in the past, it was as though I was still condensing notes, but still doing just so much. And I feel like that just doesn't work. So I would just say condense notes, have, you know, specific quotes and text. Well, this is obviously specific to English. I don't know how other subjects work, but if you are doing something like English or a humanities subject, of course, have specific quotes and um, things that you learn from, you know, different people's texts and books, etc. But just make sure you don't bombard yourself with, five million quotes and this from that person that from that person no you don't need to do it to yourself but when they say quality is better than quantity it really is the case so just make sure the quality of what you know is great just keep condensing it so that you as well when it comes closer to the time you don't feel overwhelmed knowing that you have to go through pages and pages and pages and pages of notes just feeling comfortable that you have a small set of notes that condense everything that you need to know in a really easy simplistic way so that it can just trigger your mind if for example you're in the exam you know you'll be like oh yeah i remember this and it might just be one word and then it, it you know links to loads of different other things as well so yeah that's what i'd basically say those are my five kind of like top tips on revision of course revision is different for everyone what works for me or what works for somebody else might not work for you so please make sure you try your very hardest to figure out your own way of revising figure out your own way of um learning everybody learns differently everybody engages with work literature whatever it is differently so find a way that suits you please take this with a pinch of salt because like i said someone might look at this and be like that is such bad crappy advice to me it, it well 
some of it is a bit of an experiment right now because obviously I didn't do so well the past two years and I, I knew that I had to switch some things up. So it might all go left, who knows? But it's what I'm doing at the moment and it's what I feel is actually helping me at the moment. So hey, I'm just gonna give you guys the advice that I'm giving to myself and that I would actually give to my siblings as well. So yeah, hopefully this really, really helps. I'm wishing you nothing but all the best with your exams. Try not to stress. Remember, stay hydrated. I know that sounds really like everyone says, oh, but stay hydrated. Make sure you stay hydrated. It will really, really help you. Look after yourself. Um, one thing that I'm also trying to do actually, another tip, looking after myself in terms of drinking plenty of water and doing exercise. I feel like exercising has been one of the things that has boosted my ability to do work, my ability to learn, my ability to do more so much. I've been exercising a lot more. For a period, I just grew, I just grew very, very lazy. Um, really and truly, I thought I had the excuse of, oh, I'm, I'm always busy. I'm still as busy now, but I'm actually making the effort to go out and exercise. I'm waking up earlier in the morning to give myself half an hour to go out for a run or half an hour to do a workout. And it makes me feel great and I feel great. I feel like I'm starting to look great. I don't really know, y'all can tell me. But you know, it's just a great way as well to keep your mind going. And it really, really helps to kickstart your day off well. Like today, I can't lie to you, I've been so productive today. I haven't really done any revision today though. That's one aspect that I haven't been so productive on. But as a whole, I've been productive. And right now I'm literally gonna go and I'm gonna do some revision. So wishing you nothing but the best. I really hope and pray that you do really, really well. Remember, keep putting the hard work in and hopefully you get what you deserve. So I'll see you guys again real soon. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Comment below, share tips. You know, we're all here to share. We're here to support each other. So please do share your tips and all that kind of stuff below. Click on that bell to be notified every time I release a video. And I'll see you guys again soon. Stay beautiful. <laughs> I said DJ, that my funny busy busy DJ, you need